What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Magic Key Club. Today we're going to show you guys how to save a little bit of money in the park by doing a $30 challenge. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to eat all day in the park only spending 30 bucks or less if we possibly can. But before we get started, if you guys can hit the thumbs up and uh, leave a comment, let me know if I missed anything or uh, let me know a combination that you guys would do different here on the Magic Key Club. So uh, hit that thumbs up, guys. All right, guys, first off, I'm gonna say this preparation does start at home. Uh, there's something that you guys are gonna wanna pick up and it's going to be this little straw water filter that will easily convert any, basically any of your water bottles, just like this one here on the screen. Uh, basically, the water at Disneyland does not taste that great. Uh, a lot of people say that some of the water stations are filtered, but if they've ever tasted that water, they will know it's not filtered and uh, you guys can try it out for yourselves. But trust me, you're going to want to get this little guy. Also, I filled this thing up seven times the last time I was at Disneyland. And one day, that's an equivalent of 11 bottles of the Dasani waters that they sell there. That saved me a total of $44 just by itself, guys. Bring your own container for water. And trust me, guys, you guys are going to want to get that little filter to... Uh, filter out that nasty water now here is the water station at the uh, galaxy grill there's a lot of people that walk up and they fill that thing up all day the next one is going to be in red rose tavern there's actually two water stations here that are supposedly filtered but they're not um, again guys there's the one when you walk in to the left and there'll be another one if you're standing there make a right and you'll find the next one and uh, there it is right there. You guys can uh, get some water there and fill your bottles up and hopefully you have that little filtration system going. Now this one here at Rancho Del Zocalo, this is my favorite one. Uh, you get your own ice. And uh, here you guys will see it here in a second. Yep, here we go. And this one is outside. You just walk right up to it. They even got free little cups that you guys can grab for yourself if you don't have anything. But uh, you walk inside and you fill up your canister, or your, your canister, your water bottle, and just top it off with ice, get as much as you can, and walk back outside. You just got sometimes you gotta let them know, hey, I'm just grabbing ice. I'm not jumping in line. You walk right outside, and then you'll be able to fill your water bottle up. and again guys this doing this little trick saved me a ton of money this day and then here we go you'll see my little filter going down into the uh my water bottle there and then and i'll have a uh, nice cold filtered water uh you know at my disposal again guys it saved me almost 50 bucks and the next little uh, water station it's not really a water station it's more of a water fountain now uh, they used to have a, a water station here on the uh, the island but now again it's just a water fountain you'll want to find the boat launch across the way and uh, there it is I guess you could call that a watering station I don't know uh, to me it's still a water fountain and uh, again guys there is water fountains throughout the whole park with the exception of the one on the river and this one here that I'm showing you, you guys can get ice from just about any counter service that'll keep your guys' water nice and cold all day. And again, the counter services will give you these tiny little cups of water, but it's still, it tastes the same. It's not gonna taste very great. Now for our first meal of the day, we're going to grab a chimichanga because those things are only seven bucks, guys. And you guys are going to get nice and full. You guys get that at the Edelweiss snacks over there right across from the Matterhorn and you can't forget to come back here to the old motorboat boat launch and uh, you gotta grab your napkins and uh, your hot sauce definitely don't want to forget that because the hot sauce makes these burritos and now this is a $30 challenge so of course we started off with 30 bucks uh, we spent $7.53 that means we have $22.47 left for the day Alright guys, so the next thing that's cheap, you'll get full off of this thing, the chimichanga, it's only 7 bucks. You'll find this over in Fantasyland. 
Yeah, you can find it in multiple places around the park, but this is pretty good. You'll definitely get full. All right, guys, so obviously I didn't include breakfast because if you guys are coming from home, take advantage, eat at home. If you're coming from a nearby hotel, they normally offer a decent free breakfast, so take full advantage of that. This way you guys have a better variety for your $30 challenge. Now this next one, we're going over to Jolly Holiday Bakery, and we're actually going to get, yes guys, that's right, a treat within this $30 challenge. We're going to pick up the Matterhorn Macaroon, and it's only $3.49 plus tax, and after tax guys, that's $3.76, and we're gonna take that out of the $22.47 we have left, and that leaves us with $18.71 for the rest of the day and we're only halfway through so we're on a good pace so far now here's a little tip or a trick for you guys however you guys want to see it um, whenever you guys can use counter service and actually order food in person and not have to use the app uh, you always have the option to not get the fries or the chips you can always just order the item that you're looking for by itself such as the corn dog um, everybody knows when you buy a corn dog, it usually comes with chips and uh, you can actually ask them or let them know you don't want the chips. You only want the corn dog and it'll actually be a cheaper price. Oh, would you look at that? It's nighttime. That could only mean one thing. Yep, that's right. It's dinner time. For this, we're going back over to Jolly Holiday Bakery and we're picking up the Jolly Holiday Combo, which includes the grilled cheese and a tomato basil soup and this is perfect guys this is probably one of my favorite meals here at the park so after taxes comes out to $13.46 and we're taking that out of our $18.71 that's left over that leaves us $5.25 guys basil tomato soup this is probably one of the best things here all year long it's better in the cold weather, but you can't go wrong anytime. And at only 13 bucks for dinner, and again, you bring your water, guys, that's gonna save you tons of money by itself. Trust me, there's a bottle of water here, guys. It's like, no kidding, seven, eight bucks. And the, the water out of the drinking fountains, they just, they, they just, it's not that great. So get that. That little filter I was telling you guys at the beginning of the, the video, it's only like three bucks on Amazon, guys. Yeah. All right, guys, so for this challenge, we came out $5 under budget, guys. So the next time you guys are thinking about coming to the park, but you hold off because you're thinking it's going to be too expensive, think again, guys. This isn't too bad. 25 bucks to eat all day. Um, again, no breakfast included, but if you guys want to see a video with breakfast included, uh, just let me know down in the comments, guys. Uh, I will gladly make that video um, anything to help you guys out. And uh, again, you know, don't forget your water. Uh, the water saved me a lot of money. It saved me more than what I spent on the food. If I was to buy a bottle of water every time I filled up my container, I'm looking at close to 50 bucks, guys. So especially on these hot days, you guys are going to want to stay hydrated so um yeah do that guys i'll leave a link down in the, the description for the uh uh the water filter and also down in the comments guys if there's anything that i missed that you guys felt that i could have included in this video let me know if there's a combination that you guys would include uh also let me know i can make this video probably five or six different ways with uh five or six different combinations of food and um, if you guys want to see one for California Adventure, also let me know. Let me know what you guys want to see. Um, I'm here to make videos for you guys. So let me know down in the comments what it is you guys want to see. And um, also YouTube is going to be suggesting that you guys watch one of these videos here on the screen next. We got a lot of other videos that you guys will enjoy.